as a monk, I believe that St. Benedict wants us to uh, live an ascetic life. If you read the Desert Fathers, you can see how they um, go without, I mean, very, very much so. Um, as a Benedictine monk, we don't go without quite as much as they do, but um, the things that you give up when you come into the monastery uh, is just like a piece of the iceberg that I think you should give up as you live the monastic life. So, yes, I think that we should continue to live um, life like it is a Lent, like we are giving things up and um, devoting our life to God. I believe that fasting, for me, all through my lifetime, Lent meant fasting. It meant giving up food. Um, as being a few pounds overweight, I took the opportunity of Lent to lose a few pounds, and that's not really probably the right way to go about Lent. So, um, yeah, I would, I would like the opportunity to give up like sweets or something like that that I really enjoy. And um, sometimes I get through the whole Lent by doing that, and sometimes I don't. I realize now how important the other things are, not just giving food up or giving something up, but adding to your prayer life, for instance, or reading uh, spiritual books or something like that. Uh, I do that more now, and I find it, it just creates a much better Lenten experience for me. Actually, I enjoy Lent. Um, I, if I give something up food-wise, I enjoy it right before Lent because I usually eat a lot of that food before Lent. But um, during Lent, it's, it's kind of a solemn time, but it's also, I think, kind of a joyful time. It's kind of nice to be maybe a little bit away from people during Lent and not not be quite as active um, being out there. Um, my Lents are usually a little quieter and I find that kind of joyful. And the big payoff is if you make it to Easter and you actually keep your Lenten fasts and your Lenten different things that you do, the prayers and stuff, it feels very, very good um, by Easter when, when you actually do that.